Now, over in Korea's National Assembly, several lawmakers are under the fire for abuse of power. That stirred controversy and created turmoil in the political realm, leading two prominent members of the 20th National Assembly to step down. Nepotism and corruption in parliament. Our parliamentary correspondent Shin Sen-min has the full story. One after another. Korean lawmakers are finding themselves in hot water for abuse of power allegations less than a month after the 20th National Assembly started work. The first was main opposition Minju Party lawmaker So young -gyo, who last week was discovered to have hired her daughter to work as an intern in her office at the parliament. On Thursday, party leaders asked Seo to resign. Five additional lawmakers, this time from the ruling Senate Party, including Park in suk and Lee Wan Young, were found to have given jobs to family members. In the wake of the revelations, the ruling party announced Wednesday it is banning its lawmakers from hiring relatives as aides. Floor leader Chung Jin Suk said the party will screen all its lawmakers for questionable hiring practices, including nepotism, while reinforcing the party's ethics code. The issue has brought the ongoing drive of cutting privileges for lawmakers back to the public's attention, with the ruling party members agreeing to toughen guidelines on exempting politicians from being apprehended. Currently, all sitting lawmakers are being protected by the Constitution from being arrested or detained without the consent of the parliament. The minor opposition People's Party is also paying the price for a corruption scandal within its ranks. The party's co-founders An Chol Su and Chen Zheng Bei resigned Wednesday to take responsibility for the allegations against two of its lawmakers, who are accused of forging contracts with PR agencies and receiving tens of thousands of dollars in kickbacks in exchange. The party has vowed to punish the lawmakers and keep the National Assembly from being tainted by corruption in the future. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.